GSOC is one of the thing that almost everybody in college wants to take part. GSOC offers a great stipend ranging between $1500 to $3000. In this program you interact with a lot of people and share ideas. At the end you have made some good friends from all over the world. Hi everyone, myself Naman Gupta. GSOC is one of the thing that almost everybody in college wants to take part. This is because it is organized by Google. It pays well and also looks really good on your resume. But as most of people want it, so it becomes really difficult too. But at the same time, due to lack of guidance as well as knowledge, causes failure. So in this video. we will be talking about gsoc that is google summer of code before starting if you like this video then do like and share and also subscribe coding ninja's channel for more such amazing content so let us start with our video starting with what is gsoc so it is a global program focused on bringing more student developers into open source software development google matches mentors as well as programmers to work on important open source projects that create value for user all over world it is a great opportunity for students to utilize their summer break into learning and getting involved in open source projects for someone who doesn't know what is open source it is basically a source code written by developers like you that is made freely available for possible modification and redistribution for promoting open source google came up with the google summer of code program So this basically is GSOC. Now before moving towards how to apply or are you a good fit and all such stuff first let us discuss few benefits so that all these encourages you to take part in it. First is amazing learning experience. It is a place where you don't just apply your skills that you have already learned but also you get to acquire bunch of new ones. Also learning is not just limited to technical knowledge but it also introduces you to code collaboratively second is you get sense of achievement there is something very fulfilling about getting the changes you made when it improves experience of thousands of users third is improves your development skill in this lot of people sees and check your code so they provide you with valuable feedback that will surely going to help you in your future fourth is it helps in building network In this program you interact with a lot of people and share ideas. At the end you have made some good friends from all over the world. Fifth is it increases your open source contribution. This program gives you a way for making big contributions as well as also it is a great way to get noticed. Sixth is you get mentored by highly experienced developer. GSOC is heart of mentoring. The mentors are over here are dedicated and passionate volunteers who want to help seventh and last is that it gives you stipend as well as confidence gsoc offers a great stipend ranging between $1500 to $3000 and also it boosts your confidence now we have discussed about benefits so moving towards how to prepare so first and foremost thing required is dsa it is required at almost all the places after that choose a skill for yourself on which you want to work it could be web development app development machine learning or any other now question arises that how you would know whether you are prepared or not so if you have made any real world application from the beginning till end then you can surely contribute to open source world after you have made any such real world application or you have done an internship that it gave you required knowledge then you can proceed with the open source so before that first learn git and version control after that just find the open source project and start contributing before applying to gsoc it would be great if you have contributed to open source already as because mentors chooses that whether they would be taking you or not so for that they sees the open source contribution that you have given till now 
after preparation comes the steps to enter gsoc so there are four steps involved and we would be discussing each one of them in detail step 1 is select an organization this is important as well as confusing decision for students because there is no guarantee that google will select that particular organization for gsoc or not Google published this on GSOC site in February end or March beginning for 2022 it is 7th of March so while choosing take two points into consideration that is that organization came at least two to three times in past few years so there would be more chances of that organization to be get selected and the second point is that tech stack that you have learnt matches with the requirement of the organization Now step 2 is that start contributing. Try to contribute as much as possible. It will create good contribution chart as well as will boost up your confidence. Also read all the guidelines of the organization for contributing. Now it might happen that for the organization you are contributing is not being selected by Google. So don't lose your hope instead pick another organization and start contributing to it. Step 3 is make your project proposal. Now, after list of organization selected is being published by Google, next step is that they generate form for students. Generally, they it is open in April for 2022 the dates are 4th April to 19th April. In this you need to send your project proposal. It is a complete documentation of your project. think about your proposal carefully as it plays important role in ensuring your selection after that step 4 is keep contributing and wait for the result after result is being published and suppose you are being selected then there would be a community bonding followed by coding that you would be starting in june after that there is evaluation round in which mentor evaluates your project You can find all the timelines on the GSOC site. We have now discussed almost all the things about GSOC. Now there are three major changes in GSOC 2022. These are as follows. First is GSOC has expanded eligibility criteria. Earlier it was 18 plus college students, but from now on all 18 plus who wants to make open source contribution can take part. Second is there is multiple size projects. Earlier before 2022 it was only 175 hours. But from this year there are two options available that are 175 hours and 350 hours. Third is increased flexibility of timing of project. That is if someone opted for 175 hours but find it difficult to complete in that particular timeline so that person can increase time from 175 to 350 in between the program also. So these were the three major changes that came in 2022 GSOC. So with this we are done with everything. Before ending video I would like to mention that as discussed key skill requirements like DSA development or machine learning for all these things coding ninjas is having amazing course taught by Stanford as well as IIT alumni which comes with one is to one doubt support. So do check them out. Now with this we end our video hope you find this helpful for more such content stay tuned to coding ninjas channel thank you